Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Factions on Ossia PvP. We have a lot of base work in this episode, but I don't want to make this intro clip too long, so I'll get right into it and I'll see you in the next clip. Alright, we've been making a lot of progress, which I'm going to show you right now. Not so much in spawners or F-top value. I will show you what we have if it's not glitched right now. I think it is the right value, 175 mil. Pretty good. Still have a 75 mil lead on number 3 and a good bit behind number 1, but that's not too much of a problem. We're not really worried about that. But we did do more base work than money grinding. We have been saving money, kind of, instead of buying spawners. For example, I have a couple mil. Uh, my friend also has a few mil, I'm pretty sure. Just to give you examples of people in our faction, we all have over a mil. So we could buy some spawners if we wanted to, but we've been focusing on base work. So this is the west side. Uh, we're doing these like pillars to kind of defend against floating barrels. We're also doing the sand walls. Haven't really started the trapdoor filters. Uh, but we have all the sand walls done on the east side for the most part. To the north side, uh, we have some more sand walls filters, basically the same layout on all sides to be honest. So it's going to look a bit the same. I think the north side is a bit bigger because of the three sided base, just the way it lays out. Like one side's going to be bigger than the other two. But that should be the north side. And we've also done good progress on this. Like three out of the four sand pillars are done. I think someone's working on it right now. 
and we're gonna do sand walls and I think a set of filters right here sand wall and some more walls right at the end there let me go over to the east side now which we just started like I think last night um, I'm not sure how many people have been working on it cuz I haven't been on I was at school but if I fly over here I believe all the walls are gen which really isn't that hard because they're not all wraps but also we have been working on the filters and sand walls so I think those go down and then these sand walls here are done and a couple of these pillars are done as well so decent progress which I'm gonna be working on here in just a minute and as you can see someone's already set up a cannon box so people are planning to raid us obviously um, right there yeah so that's why we're gonna be working on these defenses now and actually we're gonna water our walls so they actually do something before TNT is enabled
all right and everything is watered at least everything that is done i spent a lot of time watering this last night I did a lot of it by myself the only thing that really took a long time was breaking all of the dirt under like all of these walls that took a really long time even with depth strider and speed 2 that took ages because i was doing a whole lot of it alone so a lot of work but i got it done before tnt is enabled because we have like i think three hours until tnt enables and we do have some raids planned and they're pretty rich for how little defenses they have so hopefully at least one of them goes successfully i'm sure it will and we'll get some value from that so expect a raiding video coming soon and this is just kind of to show you what we got on our base we done a, like a lot of sand walls not all of the filters we didn't even finish the trapdoor filters really no one's really been focusing on this base which i can kind of explain a little bit better in the next video so maybe then you'll understand a bit better but we have done like these sand pillars to kind of like i said defend against floating barrels so if they are, like if we staggered our spawner pillars they couldn't get like multiple pillars because uh without going through another like pillar of sand basically is what they would have to do so it's just more walls for them that they want to get like a different spawner pillar with a floating barrel and obviously we have the filters and sand walls spread out between our walls so we can see if anyone's like actually far through raiding us like how far through their walls they are and we would have done these as wraps or at least done more wraps on the base if left shooting wasn't really like disabled which it kind of is which i don't know i'm not a huge fan of it because it makes base building really easy uh, like we don't have to do really any wraps at all which i think that's too easy especially since there is gen bucket whatever though uh at least it's like one less way for us to get raided less ways to worry about getting raided anyways so hopefully we'll be able to withstand in this base uh i'm not sure if anyone's gonna try cannoning it immediately people say they will but how often do they actually do it not very often like after they say that so i'm not really scared plus it's got decent defenses if we check the walls every now and then we'll be fine because there's plenty of sand walls and filters spread out so it'll be easy to tell if someone's trying to raid us but anyways i don't want to make this video too long because it can take a long time to render but hopefully you did enjoy it, and I'll have another one coming soon. Like I said, hopefully a raid, uh, and I'll see you then.